And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Microsoft Flex Simulator SDK tutorial. And today we have a big announcement. The Blender exporter from Azobo is ready. It's ready for you to download on their GitHub page. So let's get started and let's see how we can get it uh, running on uh, Blender. So go to the GitHub of uh, Azobo Studio. Um, the link is also in the description below. Click on the releases and download the source code in any location, your download folder, your desktop, everywhere you want, and extract it there, and open the folder. You have some folder, go to add-ons, I.O. scene, and copy this to your program files folder, your main program files folder. So, program files, Blender Foundation, of course, you have to install Blender. Blender supported for uh, for this plugin is Blender 3.1. So Blender Foundation, Blender 3.1, as you can see, you can have multiple uh, version of Blender installed if you want. Blender 3.1, 3.1, scripts, add-ons, and in this folder, you're gonna copy the script MSFs. Okay, now we are ready to start Blender. This is Blender 3.1 and go to Edit Preferences in this text box, write Microsoft and here it is, Import Export Microsoft Flex Simulator GLTS Extensions and I'm gonna select it to activate and it's there, it's there, version 11.2 and now we are ready to make our objects in uh, with the new Azobo exporter. Make sure you have the exporter activated, press the N letter and you will see the multi exporter in the top here. So let's see um, how it is composed. We have an object tab, presets and settings. Objects is where you do your um, export. Uh, this, the preset is yet to be documented so I will explore it once the documentation is uh, ready. And uh, in the settings, you have all the settings you are used from uh, the Blender MFS Toolkit, which is the exporter, the former exporter we are all using now with Blender. And you have your texture, so you, have, you will never have to write it uh, again all the times, your copyright, uh, and uh, of course, all the options. Uh, make sure you check UVs and vertex colors, everything check. And now you can press N and start uh, um, modeling. Start modeling everything you want, like, like we have uh, always done. So X to extrude, S to scale, GZ, and we have uh, an house. And maybe we can add uh, some texture here. So go to the texture tab, as usually. Go to MFS material parameters and press standard. And add your texture. One for the albedo, now let's activate the preview, the composite texture, uh, normal texture, and here we are, so let's wrap it, smart UV project, and now we have our PBR material applied to our object, and now we're gonna maybe duplicate it. So you have a scene with multiple objects, and here they are. They are inside a collection, so let's name this uh, Houses. And now, to export, you can press the N key to bring up the hand panel. Go to Objects, you, if you haven't already selected, go to Multi-Export, go to Objects, now click Grouped by Collection and click reload lots and we have our houses collection here we need to select the folder where we want to export our project it's in your package services of course i have made a folder for this uh, tutorial and test export and the file name the gtls file name will be houses and the name of the collection is going to be the name of your xml file 
I'm gonna click export and then if we go to the exported folder we have the gtlf the bin and the xml file like usually and the texture folder with our texture exporter as you can see we copy this here and we can visualize our object that is fully exported and it's working pretty well so with the new Blender exporter, uh, you will have uh, all the options you have uh, in the 3ds Max exporter, the official exporter. Like collision, because uh, we don't have collision boxes in the in the toolkit. Now we have it. Or um, animated materials, or uh, bones without uh, distortion. So everything. Uh, that is now in the 3ds exporter will be available in the blender exporter as i said before you can download it uh, at any time from the github of azobo if you have any question or any issue with the exporter you can subscribe to get up with your account it's free it's easy and uh, jump to the issue tab and open your issue and the guys here pepperoni and uh, pirabella are very fast to solve uh, your issue and uh, are very competent guys and uh, i trust them all the time and uh, i'm pretty amazed with the work they have done well that is a big news because you know blender is free and um, supported export and official export is what uh, we have uh, waiting for the last two years. Thanks again for getting in touch. Try the export and let me know if uh, you have issue, if you have question. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are now a big community. We have 400 uh, subscribers. Uh, I have a Discord channel. You can join the Discord and make me some question. I'll try to answer to you as soon as possible so you can continue going on with your SDK scenery development uh, so thanks for watching download the, the exporter and experiment yeah of course you can't have two exporters at the same time maybe you can download the blender 3.0 and use the mfs toolkit if you need some option of that or you can download blender 3.1 and use the uh, azobo exporter okay you can't have the two exporters at the same time that's that's the rule one exporter at a time so guys, thanks for watching, subscribe, and see you next time. <laughs>